Hi everyone, I'm Walt Gray and here's what's happening. Homeless people camping near levees in Sacramento will have to find a new place to stay if Sacramento city leaders approve a new ordinance. That proposal would prevent people from camping within 25 feet of riverfront areas and other public facilities. City leaders say fire risk and litter caused by homeless encampments has sparked the discussion. One man is dead after shooting himself right in front of Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies. It happened yesterday in Antelope, the Winco Foods parking lot of Alberta Road. In addition to the self-inflicted gunshot wound, authorities say one deputy also shot at the man, but it's unclear if the uh, suspect was hit. Authorities were initially called to the scene after receiving reports of a person with a gun. An Elk Grove neighborhood is on alert following a pit bull attack over the weekend. The owner of a four-year-old Golden Doodle says her dog was attacked by a brown pit bull in a front yard. The Golden Doodle is expected to be okay. Elk Grove police say they have been able to identify that pit bull's owner and they could be facing some type of a fine. Now for check your weather forecast, here's Rob with uh, less wind today, Rob? <laughs> yeah, we're not looking at as, as the winds being the big story today. They'll still be in the background 5 to 10 miles per hour. Yesterday it was 10 to 15 miles per hour, but check this out. You know, the record high in Sacramento today is 76 degrees. Look where we're going, about 76. This is hour by hour, but in between these hours, we certainly could hit 76 or higher. And it's going to be that way the rest of this week. So not only are we still in record dry territory, I think we have a really, really good chance of finishing out February with an extra day being completely rain-free in places like Sacramento, Stockton. Modesto did get a little bit of rain, by the way, uh, over the weekend just to trace, so you're out of the running. But everybody else could be the driest February on record. As far as what we're looking at over the next couple of days, it's not only dry, but again, record warm for the rest of the week with some cooling into the weekend.